All right, everyone, it's a close race right now. This last question will determine who our winner is. Who led the Nashville sit-in movement? Okay, let's see those answers in three, two, one. Lift up your boards. Great job. The answer was Diane Nash and John Lewis. All righty. Looks like, drum roll please. Ava comes in first place today. Oh yeah, okay, let's go. With Jeshua coming in second and Sterling coming in third. All right, everyone, awesome job on that review. You can go ahead and move your whiteboard and your marker to the corner of your table. For the rest of the class, we'll continue researching the historical figure you all chose for your project. You can go ahead and open your notes and get your tablets and get started on your project. As you all are working, I'll be walking around the classroom, so you, if you have a question, just raise your hand for me. Yes, Ava? You didn't assign me a person. That's because you were supposed to choose a historical figure that we discussed yesterday. So go ahead and open your notes and choose a person so you can get started on your project. Thanks everyone for getting started. <laughs> Ava, again, please start working on your project. What? You didn't say I couldn't use the site. I said you should be researching the historical figure that you chose. I am researching. Look. Please close out of that site and begin working on your project. I was looking at videos to research for your stupid class. Hey, we need to have a chat. Shut up! I don't need a f***ing chat. I hate your class. Hey, I need you to calm down. Don't speak to me like that. F*** you! I need to take care of this. You all continue working on your own project. Hey, Ava Jones just left my classroom. She's headed down hallway B, and it looks like she's headed out to the parking lot. Class, continue working while I speak with Dr. Webby. I mean, I just took a walk to cool down. Mm -hmm. She's filled out her debriefing form. I think she's ready to get back to go to work. I also talked to Dr. Thoman. He knows that she's going to be late for his class. So you'll have time to talk with her after this class. Okay, great. Do you have something you want to say? I'm sorry for I acted. Hey, I appreciate that. We can talk later about what happened. Go ahead and just grab a new tablet and have a seat. And if you have any questions, just raise your hand for me, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, do you mind staying back for a second? Do you have your new food there? Yes. Hey, I'd really appreciate if you would pick up your tablet for me, please. Okay. Thank you. So, how are you feeling now? Fine. From your perspective, I'd like to hear about what happened today. It's just that we went from a fun review game to working on our projects. It was just too boring. Yeah, I understand that. Sometimes it's hard to transition from fun stuff to into independent work. I was just too excited from the game. Yeah, I like to do fun stuff too, but we also have to do projects where we have to focus and do independent work. It's to prepare you for what comes after high school. So next time when you're not quite ready to do independent work, what will you do? Play a game on my phone. No, seriously, what will you do when you're not quite ready to work? Maybe you go get a drink of water to reset and take a break. Hey, that works for me. Um, 
But there is one more thing that we'll need to talk about, the tablet. I'll have to talk with your mom and an administrator about it first. Okay, my mom's gonna be pissed. Hey, we can work through it. I just wanna make sure that you're okay and you're back, in tra back on track in this class, okay? I'm good now. Okay, well, thank you for being able to stay after class and chat. Um, here's your pass, and I already talked with Mr. Thoman, so he knows you'll be coming in a little later, okay? Thank you. Okay.